A tense situation behind bars. Two San Francisco jails remain on lockdown after several violent attacks on deputies. Today, despite days in lockdown, the deputies are reporting new issues. NBC's Valina Jones is at the jail with the various problems. Valina. Well, this is just the latest in a series of events. And at this hour, there it, it's very quiet, and luckily no one was injured today. But, you know, this was a very different story earlier today when we saw a lot of activity here at the San Bruno Jail around 11 this morning. That's when two inmates in the same cell refused to come out and be handcuffed. Sky Rangers spotted at least six deputies dressed in tactical gear enter the jail responding to the situation. The Sheriff's Department says they also found jail-made weapons that they believe were used by the individuals. The pair eventually surrendered after nearly two hours of negotiation. It's the latest in a series of incidents at San Francisco County jails. According to the Sheriff's Department, nine deputies and staff have been injured or assaulted since March 29th. While the Public Defender's Office believes staffing shortages are to blame, Sheriff Miyamoto points to crowded jails, violent offenders, and delayed court cases as the major factors behind the spike in violence. The uptick is something that we want to address immediately, which is why we're doing what we're doing right now. Uh, there will not just be the lockdown, as was mentioned earlier, but the follow-up that we have that will involve not just our staff, but our command staff, uh, all of our resources, our partnerships with behavioral health and mental health. We do know that the Sheriff's Department has deployed 130 deputies to join the joint drug task force in the Tenderloin. Um, so they do have some staff that are out in the fields um, doing other things. Um, so that's kind of one source that we would point to. Now, both the San Bruno and downtown San Francisco jails have been on lockdown since Friday. Among the issues that triggered the lockdown, one deputy sustained a head injury after being punched repeatedly and falling to the ground. Another deputy was bit in the arm. At one point, the Sheriff's Association even suggested the National Guard be called in to help bridge the staff shortage. But today, the sheriff says he believes deputies can handle the situation without outside help. Now, the sheriff says the lockdown at jail Two, which is in downtown San Francisco, will be lifted tomorrow as far as the San Bruno jail here. That is set to reopen in a couple of days later this week. Reporting live in San Bruno, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.